Hi folks, welcome to the video and welcome to Krakow, Poland. Now I'm absolutely delighted to be here, but unfortunately it's not for very long. I flew in from Edinburgh this evening and first thing tomorrow morning I'm going to be catching a train out of here up to Vilnius in Lithuania. Now when I say first thing I really mean it, the train leaves at 4 o'clock in the morning and gets into Vilnius at about half past five in the afternoon. It's not quite a direct service, we do need to change pretty much at the border at a place called Moscava I think it is. But at 12 hours, it'll be the longest rail journey I have ever been on. Now, because we're leaving first thing, I've booked this little hotel right next to the train station. It's called the Sky Hotel. And this is probably the nicest single room I've ever been in. Although I'm already doing my best to make a mess of the place, it's absolutely fantastic. Tea and coffee making facilities there, big TV. My wee single bed. A nice bathroom in here. Look at this place. This isn't me, is it? And it was only 45 quid. And if we have a wee look out the window here, just over in front of us there, that's Krakow Mall. That's a fantastic place. For some reason, we've got a British flag just outside the window. And over to the right, that's Krakow Głowne. I think I'm saying that right, Głowne train station. That's the main station in Krakow. It's literally a few steps from this hotel. So I'll be crawling over there at four o'clock tomorrow morning. Well, I say four o'clock, but in truth, we're going to have to be up there about 3.15 because we cannot afford to miss this train. And in fact, the train station itself doesn't even open till 6 a.m. So during the night, there must be an alternative route direct to the platforms. We're going to have to work that out in the morning. We cannot be late for this one because it's the only train of the day and we've got a hotel booked in Vilnius tomorrow night. So it's good night from me and I'll see you at stupid o'clock tomorrow morning. Hey, I'd better set at least a couple of alarm calls, eh? Good morning, it's just after three o'clock and that's me all checked out and headed over to the railway station. So how was last night? Well, it was barely worth having a hotel. It was more of a lie down than a sleep. But I guess when you set your alarm for 2.30 in the morning, it's always an awkward time. This could be a long day, but at least I didn't sleep in. Before I left the hotel this morning, I had a quick look at the live departures board online and it does appear that our train is on time this morning but there was also a big red warning box there. And although it didn't translate exactly, it looks like there's been some kind of freight train accident south of Warsaw, and that could impact our schedule by up to about 60 minutes. Now, what that means for our connection in Lithuania, I really don't know, but it was sold as a through ticket. So fingers crossed they'll wait for us. Oh, and just while I remember, when I was buying the tickets online, they did email me PDFs of the tickets, but they also insisted that you print out hard copies. Now, I'm not sure why, and I'm not sure if I'll need them, but it's just something to bear in mind. I keep checking the departures board because I'm paranoid there'll be a change of platform last minute. And I'm pretty much the only person up here, so that's a worry as well. There are a lot of announcements, but of course they're in Polish, so I don't understand a thing. You really need to keep your wits about you. for the life of me work out which carriage I'm on but I think it's the one up here So that's just pulling out the station now. We are about 18 minutes late departing. I'm not quite sure what it was. 
there was a lot of shouting and running about. I think they were having some problems attaching the locomotive. In typical seat reservation style, they appear to have grouped everyone together in a little huddle and the rest of the train is quite empty at the moment. So I've just moved up to another quieter seat for now and I'll just act stupid if anyone gets on. Seats are really good though. I love these little tables, proper sturdy tables. And you've got a reading light, which doesn't appear to work. I really like all these bike racks. There's loads of room up here. It's a bit different from what you see at ScotRail, eh? got an energy drink but I can't decide to uh, drink it now or save it for later. There was just an announcement in English which is a massive comfort to me and it was also confirming that we're running about 17 minutes late. Now I'm not sure if they'll try and make that up during the journey and if we'll be okay for our connection in Motskava but we'll find out. That's us stopped at Warsaw Central and according to my notes we should be here for about half an hour but with the delay that might be a wee bit shorter but it gives me a wee chance to get off the train get a bit of fresh air although we are kind of inside it's a wee bit scary doing this because my bag's still on board down the back of the train and you get this awesome view and this gives you a really good sense of the scenery that you go through in this journey. Lots of little towns and a lot of trees. One thing I've noticed back here that the destination now is showing Bialystok so that means that the train must split there so I should really get back up to my end
Dzień dobry, witamy w pociągu Intercity High numer 144 ze stacji Krakow Główny do stacji Moskawa. Welcome to Suwalski, where I'm pretty sure this is an opportunity for another fresh air break. But I'm staying very close to the train just in case it takes off. And I've also got my bag of essentials as well in case that was to happen. But what a beautiful old station this is. Well, this is a very quiet wee stop, but I'm pretty confident the train's not going to take off without me now because there's absolutely nothing to pull it. Now, I'm not sure if you can see in between those transchem wagons, there's a whole train full of tanks.
Here we are at Motskava, bang on time for our only connection of the day. The train that's going to take us to Vilnius has just turned up on the left. I'd better hurry up so I don't miss it. Now, we have just crossed the border and jumped forward an hour. So where you might think you've got an hour and 20 minutes to cross that platform, it's actually just 20 minutes. But I think we'll make it. Aye, the last thing I really needed at the end there was a hot and busy train, but 12 and a half hours after leaving Krakow, welcome to Vilnius. That was a proper train journey. The only thing I can't get my head around is that in two days time, I'm going to have to do exactly the same in reverse. So you can probably tell that I wouldn't recommend that trip for fun, but if you're after a challenge before Rail Baltica roll in and make that trip all too easy, then get yourself over here or just watch my video, that counts as well. Now I've not had a proper night's sleep for two days, so I think you can guess what I'm gonna do now. So thank you very much for watching as always, and good night.